Welcome to Hawks Recap Game 14 in the books for the Hawks and they win 2-0 against the Minnesota Wild in Minnesota. That feels really good, especially after the Wild beat the Hawks in the first matchup between these two teams earlier this season in Chicago. It was nice to return the favor. Now before I begin, I just want to apologize for how late this video is coming out. It's so late, in fact, Game 15 against Montreal, yeah, that game is already over and done with. In fact, this is the day after that game was already over and done with. So this is super late. But it's all because of the trip I took down to Phoenix this weekend to go play in a hockey tournament. I had a tremendous time. It was a blast. Seriously, I have no regrets about doing it, except for the fact that I couldn't get this video out in a timely fashion. Thankfully, though, the bar at the rink actually had this game on the television over the Arizona Coyotes game. I didn't even have to request it. And the Coyotes got their second straight win that night. So that was pretty cool. But I still apologize and I hope you can find it someplace in your heart to forgive me. Now that you've accepted my apology, the Hawks came out flying in this first period out shooting the Wild 16 to 9 in it. Great start to a road game, great start to the front end of a back to back. Impressive, especially considering that the Wild had the lone power play opportunity in this one. Crawford made some huge saves, though, had one that hit the inside of the post and he whacked away with the back of his leg. I don't know how he did that. It was nuts. And then another one, a read of redirection off Murphy in front that Crawford somehow kept out. Some huge save by Crawford. Dubnik making some great saves as well. And this game goes into the first intermission scoreless. Second period, a little bit more even in terms of shots on goal. Both teams getting some good looks, some good chances. Panic and Debrinkat on a two-on-one odd man rush. Panic gets it over to Debrinkat and he hits the post with the shot. Corey Crawford would make another huge save on the other end. Both goalies, Dubnik and Crawford, playing really well in this one, creating a scoreless game through two periods. And even though it is a low scoring game, this was a really entertaining game to watch. You know, I never really thought about this before, but it makes complete sense now that I think about it. Watching Crow, he's gotta be part cat, part Crow, because He's got cat-like reflexes. It's unreal some of the things he does and how quickly he shoots out his glove, his blocker, his pads. Not only that, but the way he covers the puck sometimes, he just like pounces on it. it it's hilarious. At least I find it hilarious, but it looks just like a cat. I, I can't unsee it. Third period was pretty much the same. Both goaltenders playing really well, pretty much standing on their heads, not letting anything through. Hawks defense got a little bit too aggressive at times and it led to some breakaway chances. It almost bit him. Crow bails the defense out though, essentially stopping two breakaways. Just phenomenal game. Absolutely unreal. A little less than eight minutes to go in the third period. Franzen gets high stick. It draws blood. Hawks go on a four minute double minor power play. They had two power play opportunities in the second period, but could not cash in on either one of those. They've had a tough time so far this season scoring any sort of meaningful power play goal. But they somehow find a way to do it in this one. Keith takes a weak wrist shot from the point. Anisimov net front presence. Puck is perfectly placed from Keith, and Anisimov makes a great tip past Dubnik, and the Hawks get that meaningful power play goal, finally, and go up 1-0 late in this game. Debrinkat would add the empty net goal later to seal this one. I still don't know how he didn't get another empty net goal. Same with Panic. Both players had golden looks and opportunities, had another empty net goal, but they somehow couldn't find a way to get it past the wild defenders and into the back of the net. 
Doesn't really matter though in this one. Hawks win 2 0 on the road against a divisional opponent. Second straight win to start November off right. Both wins coming as shutouts for Crawford. Just phenomenal performance by him. And of course, Crawford's fantastic shutout victory performance nets him the second star in this one. Not quite sure how that works. Don't get me wrong, Dubnik was fantastic in this one. First star performance any other time. But maybe because he was the home goaltender and saved more shots because the Blackhawks outshot the Wild. And the fact that the only goal against him was a power play goal. Maybe that's why he got first star. But I'm sorry. A shutout victory on the road in this league. That is first star 10 out of 10 times. It just is. Now I know the three stars of the game doesn't really mean a whole lot. But it just seems like this is another example that time and time again, it seems like Crawford just gets snubbed with these types of things. He just doesn't get the type of recognition he really deserves. It's annoying. It really is, at least for me. And honestly, I want to know your opinion on this down in the comments below. Let me know, was he the first star? Should he have gotten it? I know, I know my answer and you know my answer. But I just want to I just want to confirm that I'm not crazy. I, it is it just seems ridiculous to me. That that's really all. Next up for the Hawks, they play the back end of their back-to-back -back, back home against Montreal. At least they played their back-to-back -back already. Like I said, that game is actually already over with by the time I'm filming this. So, yeah. I'm just gonna say go watch that video and go from there. How about that? Does that work for you? Thanks for watching this episode of Hawks Recap. I greatly apologize once again for the delay on this one. Thank you so much for bearing with me. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave your thoughts about the team, the game, these videos down in the comments section below. Like, share, subscribe as well. If you do, that's awesome. If you don't, well, that's all right too. Most importantly, stay safe, make good decisions, and I'll see you, uh, well, the, the Montreal video is already up, so just go watch that.